And whenever I've had that opportunity, I really, really relish the moment. And I say to myself, boy, oh boy, is this important. Here's your last chance, man. Don't, don't blow this. How can I possibly be helpful? I think, I think that I'm probably a, a Buddhist. I'm a follower of the Dalai Lama, I'm proud to say. And I say to myself, and I can hear the voice of His Holiness saying, the most important thing is warm-heartedness and to be helpful. How can I be helpful to these kids at this particular moment? I know what their problem is. They're all sitting there excited and bristling with anticipation, but they're all full of new information. And they're saying to themselves, I hope I don't screw up. I hope I'm not the one that loses it. They're trying to remember the systems and the backup systems, etc. And I know that in business, that's not what matters. I've said this before, and I say it again. Being right or wrong isn't the critical issue. It's being well-liked. It's goodwill that takes you and keeps you in the game. So my job on Sunday will be to tell them, forget everything we've taught you. It doesn't matter. The last thing in the world I want any of you to be concerned about is whether you're going to make a mistake or not. It doesn't matter. And don't be worrying about destroying any money. We'll get over it. There's going to be plenty of business, and we're here for a long time. So don't even think about it. I want you all to forget all about everything we've told you. You can't learn anything in two weeks. It takes longer. 90 days from now, everything you're doing on your job will be second nature to you. What I want you to know is the only thing that matters is that we make these people that come to see us be happy and playful in this environment. It's not about us, it's about them. It's not about me, it's about you. It's always about the other guy. If those people have wonderful experiences when they come through the door, we win all the bets. We pick up all the tricks in the, in the deck. So you got to play with them. And so I want you to feel safe. And I don't want you to worry about anything. So you don't have to worry about whether you're right or wrong. Most important thing I want you all to do is relax and have fun. I want you to play with the guests when they come here on Thursday. I want you to enjoy them and make fun of our shortcomings. We know that our stuff's not going to work. We know that the damn computer's going to break down or the lock on the door is going to be wrong or the food's going to come a little cold from some kitchen. How could it not be so in a brand new building of six million feet? with a brand new staff of 9,500 people who may or may not know each other, but they sure as hell don't know the building real well. I drew it, and I don't. How could we possibly be flawless? The notion, the, 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 the conceit of infallibility is a disastrous place to get lost in. I mean, we're going to make mistakes. We're human. Let's laugh about it and have a good time. That's the only thing that matters. And one other thing I'm going to tell them on Sunday. Because they're the only thing that matters, our guests and their happiness, I want all of you to know that as of this minute, anybody that works in this company, from a housekeeper, from a maid, to a bar boy, cocktail waitress, anybody that has any contact with the public, if you see that someone's not happy, if something goes wrong and you see that there's any consternation on their face, do not turn around and look for your supervisor. You yourself take direct action and cancel the charge. I give every one of you the power to eliminate any charge on any bill. For every one of you dealers, I don't care if the guy's betting 50000 a smack or $5 a smack. If he's anything less than a flat thief or she's anything less than a crook, but she believes she shouldn't have lost the bet, give her back the goddamn piece of plastic. It isn't money. It's just a chip. Don't let anybody be unhappy. Cancel the food check. Cancel the room charge. Give them the food for nothing. Give them back their money at the table. Just make them happy. Now, I have done this before. Now, you might think that's sort of a fringy thing to do to 9,500 employees. What would you suspect is the result of that kind of a charge to your people? What do you think happens? I know most of you already know. They don't cancel anything. 
but the knowledge that they can, that empowerment, is one of the most concrete ways I've got of transferring accountability and responsibility from myself to them. You gotta let go. It's sort of like